Hello everyone, this is Tim from Cleveland Baseball Fan 879, and this will be start number 19 of the 1967 Mike McCormick Stratomatic Mostly Advanced Starts Replay. Today the Giants head to the south the north side of Chicago. South side of Chicago. North side. Anyway, they're in Chicago. Face the Cubs, and pitching for the Cubs is Ferguson Jenkins. And McCormick's record coming into the game, 9-6 and six and 129 in the third innings pitched. He's given up 33 earned runs, walked 36, and struck out 82 for a 2.29 ERA. And leading off for the Giants is Jesus Alou. And a 3-11 against a righty pop-up in home plate. And... Uh, Randy Humbley there, one down. And here is William McCovey, the first baseman. One, five. And either side, that's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down. And here is Willie Mays. Five, ten. And that's a fly ball to left, and uh, Billy Williams is there to retire the side. Half inning complete. Giants nothing. Cubs coming to bat. And leading off for the Cubs, the shortstop, Don Kessinger. Okay, and here's the pitch to Kessinger. 3-10, ground ball to second. Tito Fuentes is there, one down. And here is Glenn Beckert, the second baseman. Just a second, I'm going to be 20. And a 5-4. That's a catcher X. And it doesn't really matter as long as it's an out because there's nobody on. Catcher is Tom Haller. Three. And a two. It's a pop up in front of the plate and in fair territory. Makes Haller makes the play. Two down. And here is Billy Williams playing left field. 6-10, and against the lefty, that's a fly ball to center, and Mays is there to retire the side, so both pitchers have a 1-2-3 first inning, and we are headed to the top of the second. No score, and leading off for the Giants, playing left field, Jim Ray Hart. And a 3-8 against the righty. And that's a 1-12 home run chance. And kaboom! Jim Ray Hart hits one high, deep, and over the ivy. And that gives the Giants a 1-0 lead. 1-12 minute home run, that's a 2. So here is Tom Holler, the catcher. 3-9 against the righty. That's a ground ball to second. Becker to Banks. One down. And here's Bobby Etheridge. 1-7. Fly ball to center. And Adolfo Phillips is there. Two down. And here's Hallinier. 4-4, four, four, catcher X, 11, I don't think is in range. It is not. Uh, Randy Hundley is in E2. Oh, E2 and an 11. No, he bobbles it, and reaching on an error is Lanier. A 
three and an 11 are an error for a catcher, and he rolled the 11. So they will not hold on Lanier at first. And here's Fuentes. And that's a 1-3. And that's a ground ball to first. Uh, Banks to Jenkins covering, and that will retire the side. But the Giants do get the run on the Hart home run. And we go to the bottom of the second. 1-0 Cubs. Or, sorry, 1-0 Giants. <sighs> and leading off the third baseman, Ron Santo. Three five. That's a one to five single chance. That's a two. So a leadoff single for the Cubs, and they won't hold Santo on. Here's Ernie Banks. One four. Ooh, field goal roll. Fly ball to right, and Alou is there. One down. Here's Ted Savage playing. Right field. 1-3 again. Ground ball to third. The second for one. Around the horn. Double play. And that will retire the side. Going to the top of the third. Giants lead. 1-0. And leading off is Mike McCormick, the pitcher. And going back to the top of the order, Alou and McCovey. And here's the pitch to Alou. Five eleven right field X. That is Savage, a three and a fourteen. Right field, three and a fourteen. Oh, just in range, and he races in and makes the catch. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Okay, excuse me, I'm going to find the pitcher hitting card. Timeout. Okay, so it was found. Either way, it's a McCormick. That's a fly ball to the right, and Savage tracks it down. One down. And back to the top of the order, here is Jesus Salou. Six, eight, and that's a fly ball to right. Two down. And here is Willie McCovey. And we'll wait for that to stop rolling to see where this lands. It'll be a 410. And that's a center field chance for Phillips. A nine will not be in range. Phillips is an E8. And a two, and a two. So that went to center field. And he misplays it and going to third on a three base error. Oh, Phillips lost that one. Yeah, center field, E8, 2. Oh, if he had had a 3, that would have been a good play, but no. Misplays it, and that's a 3 base error. So let's see if uh, this doesn't lead to anything. Here is Willie Mays. One forward. No, it does not. Ground ball to third. And Santo over to first, and that will retire the side. Giants strand one, and after two and a half, it's the Giants one and the Cubs nothing. And bottom third of the order up here for the 
Giant for the Cubs, starting with the catcher Randy Hundley. Four eight, and that's a ground ball to first. McCovey steps on the bag himself. One down. Here's Adolfo Phillips. Two, three, and it hit him. And Jenkins using pitcher hitting card number two, but they will be expecting a bunt. And he will be bunting. He is an A bunter, so he will now be a B bunter. B and an H should be okay. B, eight. Better start up by first baseman. Runner advances, so. So we'll call that three, four on the sacrifice. Goes to second. And here's Don Kessinger. Two outs, runner on second. And Gi Giants are leading one nothing. Five, eight, and this is going to be, oh, against a righty, that's going to be a single. And coming into score is Phillips. And it is now a one-to-one -one game. And here's Glenn Becker. Six, eight, and this is even more trouble that gets into the gap and hitting second and staying in. There is a double for Becker. Kessinger goes to third. And the Cubs have runners on second and third with two down. And here's Billy Williams. One, eight, grump all back to the mound. And McCormick is up with it, throws to first, and that will retire the side. However, the Cubs do tie the game at one. And do up for the Giants here in the fourth. Jim Ray Hart, Tom Holler, and Bobby Etheridge. Of course, Hart is responsible for the Giants' lone run with his solo home run in the second inning. And here's the pitch to Hart. 3-5. Ground ball to third. Santo over to first. One down. Here's Tom Holler. Five seven. And against a lefty swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down. Here's Bobby Etheridge. Six, seven, second base X. But Beckert being a two and a, that being a five, he will make the play and that will retire the side. Go to the bottom of the fourth, tied at one. And do up for the Cubs, Santo, Banks, and Savage here in the bottom of the fourth. And here's the pitch to Santo. 2-6, walked him. Santo has reached base twice today. And they will not hold him on. And here is Ernie Banks. One, three, and he walked him too. So first and second, nobody out for Ted Savage. And they will not be expecting a bunt. He's a C bunner. But they'd rather get some base runners with the bottom of the order coming up. So here's the pitch to Savage. Six, ten. And against a righty, and McCormick has walked the bases loaded. And the Giants will bring the infield in. Fourth inning, thinking they may not get more runs. 
And here's Randy Hunley. One seven. Infield fly rule called pop up to the third baseman and it's caught one down. Oof. And they have Adolfo Phillips. Some, the, the infield will remain in. Not holding any of the runners. And here's the pitch to Adolfo Phillips. Three, eight, base hit the center field. In the score is Santo. Banks will hit third, not being held on. Three, eight, center fielder Mays has a minus three arm. They will put the stop sign and play station to station baseball. Bases remain loaded, but the Cubs take a two to one lead. And that'll bring up Ferguson Jenkins. Well, of course, they'll have to swing away here. Six nine Jenkins batting right handed. And that's a fly ball to right. Going back towards the track is Alou. Makes the play, but that is deep enough to score Banks from third. There are two down, but the Cubs now have a three to one lead. As Jenkins gets congratulated on the way back to the dugout. Bases remain loaded, the infield will be normal now. Here's Don Kessinger. 3-3, three, three, pop up to the shortstop, Lanier, and he makes the play, and that will retire the side. But the Cubs do get two. And go to the top of the fifth, leading 3-1. to one. And do up for the Giants, bottom third of the order, Lanier, Fuentes, and McCormick. And here's the pitch to Lanier. 4-2. Batting left-handed. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That is the third strikeout for Jenkins. One down. And here is Tito Fuentes. 5-6. And against a righty, that's an 11. That will head to the gap. And that'll be a double. And they will let McCormick swing away with a runner on second. McCormick does have normal power, so if Jenkins grooves one, and he won't, this will most likely be a strikeout. 1-7, and it is. Two down. And here's Jesus Salou trying to get the Giants back within one. Two, five. Ground ball to second. Beckert there. Rose to first, and that will retire the side. Go to the bottom of the fifth. Cubs three, Giants one. And McCormick will face... Uh, Becker, Williams, and Santo here in the bottom of the fifth. Five, ten. And against a ready fly ball to center. Uh, that's Mays running it down. One down. Here's Billy Williams. One five ground ball to first, and McCovey takes it to the base himself. Two down, and here is Ron Santo. Five three first base X, and McCovey. What is he? He is a three and a six. Gets it. Throws the McCormick covering. And that will retire the side. So we go to the top of the sixth. Cubs lead three to one. And do up for the 
Giants, McCovey, Mays, and Hart here to start the sixth inning. And here's the pitch to McCovey. 5-4. And against the lefty, that's a fly ball to center. Racing in is uh, Phillips, one down. And here's Willie Mays. Five ten, and that's a fly ball to left. There is Billy Williams, two down. And here's Jim Ray Hart. Six seven. And that's a ground ball to second, and I don't think he's going to get it. No. On a one, that's a base hit for Jim Ray Hart. And they will not hold him on. And here's Tom Holler, the catcher. Holler is 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a ground out. 6-9. And against the lefty, swing and a miss, strike three, and Holler is down on strikes again. And that will retire the side. And we go to the bottom of the sixth, Cubs lead three to one. And due up for the Cubs, Banks, Savage, and Hundley. And McCormick is due up fourth in this inning, so if the Giants get a rally, they may pull him. 2-5. And against the lefty, that's a 1-17 to single chance. That's an 11. And that will be a base hit for Mr. Cobb or any banks. Uh, they will not hold him on. And here is Ted Savage. Savage, 0-1 uh, officially, walked and grounded into a double play. 1-5. Swing and a miss. Strike 3. 1 down. And here is Randy Hundley, father of former Mets catcher Todd Hundley. Right. 0 for 2 today, ground out and a pop out. 4 8, ground ball to first. McCovey throws to second to get Banks, and the return throw is not in time. And Hundley reaches on a fielder's choice, he'll just remain there, but there are two down. And that will bring up Adolfo Phillips. One twelve against the lefty is a ground ball to short. And Lanier up with it. Throws the first. And that will retire the side. We go to the seventh. Cubs lead three to one. And two up is Etheridge, Lanier, and Fuentes. And they have to start thinking about what to do if they have a rally. All right, here's Etheridge. 4-7. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Here's Hal Lanier. One down. 6-3. And against the lefty, that's a outside ball four. And they will not hold Lanier on. And here's Tito Fuentes. Five ten, and that's a fly ball to left. Two down, and they will let McCormick hit for himself. Mm. Or will they? Let's face twenty. Time out. All right, they've decided to let McCormick hit for himself with two down here in the top of the seventh. Six, six. And against the lefty, that's a one to six chance, but that's a ground ball fielded by the first baseman. Thanks, and that will retire the side. 
Stretch time here in Chicago. Singer, take me out to the ball game. And a one, and a two, and a three. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and crack bridge. I don't care if I never get back for it. Root for the Cubbies if they lose. It's a shame. First one, two, three strikes here out of the old ball game. Okay, that was sped up a little bit, but I have time constraints. All right, Ferguson Jenkins leading off the bottom of the seventh. Three, three, ground ball to third. And Etheridge is up with it. One down. Here's Don Kessinger. Three, seven, swing and a miss, strike three. Two down. Here's Beckert. And a 1-5, ground ball to short, and Lanier will take care of that. And that will retire the side. We go to the 8th, 3-1 Cubs. And here is uh, top of the order for, for Jenkins, Alou, McCovey, and Mays. Four, five, swing and a miss, strike three. Here is Willie McCovey. Six, seven. And that's a second base X, but an 18, and that will be taken care of by Becker. Two down. And here is Willie Mays. Six, six, and that is an eight, and no, that's going to be a ground ball. Nice diving stop by Santo, throws to first, and we'll get him. So one, two, three inning for Jenkins here in the eighth, and we'll go to the bottom half of the eighth. Cubs lead three to one, and do up for the Cubs is Williams, Santo, and Banks. Three, seven, and against a lefty, that's a one to nine double chance, but Mays tracks it down. One down. Williams is 0 for, now 0 for 4. Here's Ron Santo, singled and walked in three plate appearances. Three, seven, and he draws a walk, so... That is one against uh, McCormick's point of weakness, and they will get <sighs> they'll get Frank Lindsay loosening in the pen. He's usually their closer, but they'll trade. They'll bring him in. All right, so they will not hold on Santo. And that'll bring up Bernie Banks. Two, six. Fly ball to center. Two down. And here is Ted Savage. Three, nine. And that's a ground ball. Back to the mound. McCormick gets it. Throws the first. And that will retire the side. Last hope for the Giants here in the ninth. They trail three to one, and do up is Hart, uh, Holler, and Etheridge. We may see some pinch hitters, but Hart will definitely be leading off the inning. And the Cubs will get uh, Chuck Hartenstein. And Cal Kuntz in the bullpen. All right, here's Hart leading off the ninth inning. Six, seven, second base X. 15 is in range. Yes, it is. And that will be out number one.
and here is Jim Ray, or sorry, Tom Holler. Um, the one, four, ground ball, back to the mound. Jenkins up with it, two down, and no, we'll let Etheridge hit. One seven fly ball to center under it is Phillips and that's your ball game. Final score from Chicago: the Cubs win it three to one, and we'll be right back with the box score. All right, final line score from Chicago: the Cubs three runs, five hits, and two errors. The Giants one run on three hits and no errors. Um, McCormick did not get much run support today, but he went eight innings, gave up three on runs, walked four, and struck out two. So on the season, that puts him at nine and seven with 137 in the third innings pitched, 36 earned runs, 40 walks, and 84 strikeouts with a 2.35 ERA. All right, everyone, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you've not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified of any new videos. And whatever games you are playing, please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a good night, everybody.